which he and the enemies of the church blocked and prevented. It's obvious that the first set of white smoke indicated the election of the true pope, probably Tedeschini. Everyone, even the cardinals, believed that we had a new pope. But then the Freemasons and the communists got involved and prevented the new pope from assuming the office. This was the outside communication which Scortesco revealed. Then the white smoke changed to black smoke, and two days later the Freemasons and the communists implanted their man, the Freemasonic agent, anti-pope John XXIII. The same interference occurred in the 1963 conclave, although in this case Cardinal Siri was the man who had his election illegally blocked in favor of the infiltrator Giovanni Montini, anti-pope Paul VI. Some ask if Tedeschini and Siri were elected 1958-1963 respectively. Why didn't they stand up for their office more vigorously? Our purpose here is not to examine this question. Our purpose is simply to establish that the evidence of their elections, as well as the communication with the outside, demonstrates that something uncanonical went on during the conclaves of 1958 and 1963 as Scortesco revealed. This makes perfect sense because we know by divine faith that anti-pope Paul VI could not have possibly possessed the keys of Peter since he solemnly bound his subjects to the heresies of Vatican II. Vatican II could not have been bound in heaven, so we know that anti-pope Paul VI had no power to bind on earth, for he did try to bind Vatican II on earth, and anti-pope John XXIII also could not have been a true pope since he set the table for the apostasy while being a heretic himself. Even Malachi Martin, a best-selling author, a Vatican insider, and a hero of many defenders of anti-Pope John XXIII and Paul VI, blows this story wide open 